Welcome back to another day here on the Pixelboard Lorcana Client. Pirates are forever! Pirates are a girl's best friend! <laughs> well, we're playing pirates. We're returning to the pirate deck. So, I put together a little something, made a few changes. Let's just talk about the changes. Robin Hood. I added Robin Hood. I like Robin Hood. I think he's a great card. I don't know how well he's going to fit in the deck. Our curve is very awkward. It's a lot of low costing stuff into some pretty decently costing stuff. The great news is, is the top of our curve is effectively five. It is seven with the two copies of Be Prepared, but outside of Be Prepared, it's effectively five. I cut back on one of the locations, the Jolly Roger, and bumped up RLS Legacy, so it's the same number of locations, uh, it's just more concentrated. Uh, they are both uninkable, one was cheaper, but I don't know, I just think the RLS Legacy is just better. Having the rush on the pirates could matter, but it's not backbreaking by any means. Uh, I do have the shift Captain Hook if we need it, Jim Hawkins to bring us some locations, it's just good pirate goodness. Hey, hey, still in here. It's primarily in here because of the three attack power. He does do a thing where he can bounce between locations and stay, you know, steal your opponent's lore, but primarily the three is huge. You got Simba bodyguards. You have the queen, uh, whatever, the big one, the 4-3-1. Uh, so hey, hey does some really good trades. But outside of that, it's just good old classic destroy stuff with removal, play pirates, attack, control the board, and quest for victory. Now, let's jump in, see if we can't win a few. Emerald Amber. It's time for a little revenge today after yesterday's fiasco. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. Mm, it's a little slow, isn't it? It is a little slow. You know, Hey Hey doesn't need to be in the deck. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of these expensive things. Let's get rid of Hey Hey. And keep the Robin Hood for the shift potential. Okay. No shift potential, but that is a lot of locations to go with the John Silver. Probably inking Robin Hood at this rate. Let's see how aggressive my opponent is. All right, Moana. So it's untapping Princess Eye. Is this a princess deck? Neverland. Oh, I can destroy Neverland. Fortunately, my start is slow. Neverland, a common who gains lore. Maui's place of exile. A rare that does not gain lore. <laughs> we'll see how many locations I can get up and running. Okay, opponent. Your turn two that hard? Ray. Man, their turn two seems so difficult. Wendy. Wendy, darling. And I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling we're going to be inking these locations. <laughs> There's only 15 uninkables in the deck, so that was a little unfortunate, but it does happen. All right, unless they got a bodyguard, Wendy's gone. I got a choice. I can either develop a John Silver or destroy the Neverland straight away. Two Moana's down. But well, it's got an aggressive go at it. I think it would be better to actually get John Silver down just to have something else that can attack. All right, Neverland doesn't actually do anything, so putting something there is pointless. Unless the character itself has an ability, which it does not. Ooh, Robin Hood. I think I'm inking this. Well, if I play this and put Razul on it, then Razul will, re will keep his three attack instead of dumping down to one. So it is better to just develop. All right, we're developing. We're going to take a hit on the Razul here. He is going to go back down to one attack. It's a little unfortunate. But 
if my opponent's going to be playing an aggro deck, I want to make sure I have the characters in play to stop them. Especially before they just get to a point where they can just choose to go wide before questing. So their big last final quest is victory. Two rays gone. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess it, it just makes the most sense to get rid of an uninkable. And since I have John Silver, the RLS Legacy is looking actually pretty okay. Plus, we've seen two rays go to the get inked. So having the ability to gain evasive. Uh, is probably pretty important. And there's a queen. A queenie. Hmm. Well, John Silver would have resist two. So he takes one damage from the Enchantress. Is that worth it? For each location you have in play, this character gains resist one. Maui also gives resist one. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Thanks to the damage on Razul, he's not super useful as an attacker. No shift queen. Good. Now, if they play something like Ray, that's when we bust out the the Zeus. Do want to get you down? Expensive to get started. All right, what do you think? What are we doing, opponent? I don't know what characters my opponent's planning on doing, but maybe it's time I pop this off. Let's see. These guys get rid of one location. I just get rid of the queen here. Oh, lots of options. Mm. <laughs> I'm strongly debating on using and then along came Zeus as a, just as a total board wipe. These two take down one, Zeus takes down another. I get Captain Hook in play. I think we take you down. Razul will put A damage on something, and now it can be cleaned up by one of the other two characters. And I think we'll play the RLS Legacy. Alright, now we have the strength to just wipe out both their locations just with characters on board. And I got a card in hand for removal. Tiana. All right, let's take control of this game. Get rid of all that. Let's get rid of that. Oh, most expensive thing in my deck costs five. I'm already at five. Well, no, I lied. There's two copies of the Be Prepared as a just in case. Mm, I think I'll hold you. Pass turn. Looking at the board state, I don't think be prepared's in my future. Not only have I not drawn it, but... Robin Hood. This is kind of what I expected my phone's deck to be, actually. It's just a whole bunch of... high questing things. Only on plus nine. Getting a location would be victory. I've already gone through several locations, so I don't think it's likely we draw one. It's not impossible, but it's not likely. But yeah, drawing a location just means we win. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, it's not very likely, but there it is. Okay. Today is my day for revenge. Amber Steel. Steel Song, or is it that weird bodyguard deck that's been floating around? Hmm. I do really like John Silver having locations, but I don't have any good locations here. Full hand's really expensive. Keep a beast. Beast and a John Silver. Okay, a little bit of a curve. Don't worry, I got to baboom. Oh, uh, I like Hey Hey actually, because if they have Shift Queen, Hey Hey actually could take it out. But we could be looking at a turn two whole new world. <laughs> Funny enough, let's ink Jim. So let's not get attached to our hand. Joshua, sweet. That's a bodyguard. Oh, is this the bodyguard deck? There's the shift queen, but are we going to see a whole new world here? That was swords. A premature swords. That feels honestly pretty great. Mm -hmm. Boom's not enough to take down the queen. Along came Zeus is. Am I inking a hey hey? So I can set up for shift sing? Possibly. But, Hey Hey also is strong enough to just stop the queen from doing anything. It's not a good answer, but it could buy me the time to set up my board with more characters before just hard casting the Zeus. Oh, long. Okay, opponent's finding all the answers. That aerial was clutch. You know who's gonna be a lot harder to take out though? A John Silver. But I also wanna play Robin Hood. What are the odds they have another two damage removal spell? Oh, uh, probably pretty good, huh? Hmm. Okay, this is one of those moments where things matter. If they got another removal, I mean, it's likely going to be a long came Zeus and it's going to take out anything anyway. So I'd rather have a Robin Hood down. A Robin Hood eating a Zeus is fantastic. And if they decide to not take it out, I then have Robin Hood. Are we going to see the whole new world now? Oh, bare necessities. Well, there goes my Zeus. And there's the removal. Man, look at that opponent genuinely just does have everything. It cost them their entire hand, but they had it. Let's get rid of that. Inca John Silver. This comes down to who can draw the most cards. Beast is looking pretty good. Though opponent just has a million damage cards. So, Beast saw, like, maybe it draws one card, but it's probably not drawing <laughs> extra cards after that. Nope, it's not drawing anything. There was that whole new world we talked about. Hmm. I don't have many options here, do I? Let's take you out. 
Good thing I have a lot of damage. Opponent gave me the well played, so I'm gonna give them the old mute. Man! Opponent got the opportunity to set up first, and so they just basically get to take out all my stuff non-stop. It's a good swords. It's a really good swords. Let me guess, the last card in their hand is another whole new world. <laughs> Yeah, of course it is. Well, the aerial is dead. No matter what, I have the way to do it. Let's just see how wide they go with two drops. Alright, the aerial's dead. They're taking grab your swords. Man, that bare necessities is so strong when you draw it at exactly the right time, isn't it? Oh, crap on a cracker, another aerial. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I think the aerials need to go. Let's hope they don't have a swords. They probably do. <laughs> this is what it feels like to play against somebody who has all of the answers all of the time. And top decks exactly what they need. This is what it feels like. Okay. Well, unless they take out both my captain hooks, which they probably will. I can take down that aerial. It's been such a thorn in my side. And they've been lucky enough to also not whole new world away a whole new world. For some reason, I really struggle with that. <laughs> There's the removal. Okay, let's see your other piece of removal now. I just can't get a foothold. I just can't keep anything in play. Our opponent is just perfectly drawing endless removal. Endless cheap removal. Well, I can play my entire hand. That's a plus. All right, let's see another whole new world. <laughs> Man. Oh man, this is savage. Absolutely barbaric. I'm gonna hold Mr. Smee. They might just find the way to get rid of it, but it could trade with potentially either of these two. Oh man! How does opponent always do it? How do they have all of the answers? Let me guess, they're gonna have a, <laughs> a bare necessities here. <laughs> I'll get rid of my be prepared. <laughs> of course they do! They didn't get rid of another whole new world, did they? One, two, three. Of course not. Of course not. So they still got the fourth whole new world. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to take out their board. Uh, well, Razul is pretty useless now. Let's see, I got four damage and three damage, so I can take out two things. Pretty much just have to do it, right? 
take out both the queens. Not because their attack manipulation is challenging, but because they quest for two. Definitely one of those awkward bits where it's like, hmm, I can choose to do the thing, but then I probably just lose the game. Play the gym, but then I lose to the questing. Should have quested with Razul here, because he's not doing anything. Man, absolutely wild. Opponent just like getting every single card, every single turn that they need for that exact situation. Brutal. Give me my last be prepared. That's what it's for. Oh man. I mean, opponent just has enough here to win, right? Yeah, they got eight. And I just have no damage. All right, good game opponent. I mean, not a good game, but... Holy smokes. Their game was so flawless that if I thought it was possible to cheat in this game, I would suspect that they were cheating because they had exactly what they wanted every single turn. It's almost like they just got to choose what their cards were coming out of their hand. That's how flawless their gameplay was in this particular match. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, Mr. 072C6B063EF6. I'm coming for you. Emerald Steel. Interesting. Second, Bah Humbug. Okay, Mr. Schmeeze. Inkables all around. Alright, we don't need two gyms. Can I get a location? A Maui would be sweet! Haha, <laughs> that's what I wanted. Okay. Tinkerbell defeated. Super easy. Curse Merfolk. So looking for a little of an aggro start. Last turn. First Merfolk makes us discard. It's not the damage dealing one. That's the enchanted judge or the empress judge or whatever it is from Beauty and the Beast. Deals three damage when you attack it. Okay, Robin of the Hood defeated. No songs for you, my friend. Bunch of cheap load of the ground pop 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 pirates. I know beasts are so nice, but they're also expensive. Get a Mr. Shmi going. Another Ursula does nothing, so good call ink in it. Robin of the Hood. Hmm. Not worth popping off, is it, to take out the Robin Hood, even though they're probably going to shift. If they were going to shift, I think they would. Then Maui's, I think, is the place to go. So I could take this out. Let's get rid of the Captain Hook that I can't do anything with. And now, Big Robin Hood's not actually strong enough to defeat Mr. Smee. And if they decide to still attack it, I have a smash to defeat the Big Robin Hood. Alright, what do you think? Is it is it a tough decision? Do you just have to make the attack anyway? There's the Robin Hood. But do you feel compelled to make the attack? Or is he going to sing a song? Could choose to sing. We might see just a whole new world here. Yep, a whole new world. A 
Whole new chance to punish the opponent. Oh great, Robin Hood's still dead. <laughs> no matter how you look at it. Let's ink you. Let's smash you. Capitan Hook. All right, it's opponent's turn to recover. Inking a beast. We're going to see a second beast. Swords! It's okay, I got a sword too. You think they got another swords? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't need that many Robin Hoods. Hmm. You got another swords for me? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, come on, opponent. It's not that difficult. You have cards in hand. Play some. Play some or pass the turn. The opponent can't make up their mind what to do. They're, they're debating. I mean, they're head on lore. Yeah, so they're going to try to go for the board wipe. Doesn't work on John Silver. Continues to attack the location. I think I'll just play a Robin Hood. I'll take out the Ursula. Just because it keeps attacking my Maui's place of exile. That fiend. Alright, opponent. Now what? You managed to do next to nothing last turn. Can you accomplish the same thing this turn? Brisco Films. Are you a YouTuber? A uh, Yubi Tibbies? Man, that Ursula would have gotten something great out of my hand. Oh, go wide. I dare ya. You're probably just gonna have double discard, but if not, that's a board wipe. Hmm. Eh, let's just take him out. I'm like, Robin Hood can attack you, but... Pretty unnecessary, isn't it? I mean, they're randomly rocking some discard. I mean, the Ursula's already a form of discard, but... Characters that get attacked force you to discard. Oh, here's the Bucky. Okay, so it's a discard deck. They just didn't have it. Just wasn't present early enough in the game. RLS Legacy! Huh, that's actually a tough decision, isn't it? <laughs> Who wants to go where? I think John Silver wants to be on RLS Legacy, so it safely quests. Of course, Beast will start taking stuff out. So it doesn't really matter what moves here, does it? Because eventually it's just gonna get destroyed. Double card draw, not great for us. There goes a tank. That's wise. Glad we got the resist on Robin Hood. There goes RLS Legacy. Look at that! I'm not the only one running Rise of the Titans. It's such a niche card, nobody plays it. He's just gonna pass turn upon it. Oh, well, they're gonna go for the attack. They're gonna leave themselves vulnerable to, uh... Not being able to draw cards. A ba-boom! All right, well, John Silver's no longer doing anything of interest, so let's get the beast off the board. All right, just like that, it's a tied game, but opponent's got way more pieces than I do. It's not looking good for me. They also have way more ink than I do, so they can do a whole lot. Interesting. What are they doing? Nine ink and they chose to not play cards. Are they discards? 
Oh, they could be discards. Five damage to Robin. Are we gonna trade a Bucky? We're gonna trade a Bucky. Fantastic. Robin Hood down in a challenge, so I'll draw a card. Ooh, Maui's Place of Exile is perfect for Mr. Smee. Must not have been discard. They didn't make me discard. Not sure what's going on in my opponent's hand. Is it a Goofy? Oh, it's a whole new world! Let me guess, that's also what they had to discard, is a whole new world. Yeah, it was a double whole new world. Alright, this might be tough for my opponent. Oh, nope, they found the Location Destroyer. Mr. Smee still quest for two. Oh, I don't have a location. I got some Jim Hawkins, but I don't have any locations. Well, let's go Mr. Smee. Let's go Captain Hook. Do a ba-boom. I don't have a location, so we're gonna get rid of a gym. The whole new world is super awkward to have in their deck. They're clearly running some kind of discard shenanigans. That's a lot of effort to spend on doing one thing to then just play a single card to completely undo it all. A stinky tinky. You need another... That wasn't it. Nice. Oh, another Emerald Amber. Was there a deck tech? <laughs> I feel like if I see the same colors a lot, that's somebody out there. Some YouTubers made some content. Uh, I need something to go with Mr. Shmee. I'll draw into my removal. Mr. Smee also has the Place of Exile, so I could play Smee and then follow up with Place of Exile. Those are good options. Well, lots of locations. John Silver and a Mr. Smee. Okay. I'm going to ink a lot of these things, but here we go. Well, let's keep the removal. Put my hand low to the ground. No songs for you. Just a whole lot of pirate nonsense. <laughs> hmm, I would really like to keep that Maui, but whatever. They don't know I just drew a Capitan Hook. So if I absolutely have to, I could play Captain Hook. And a Maui without activating the Maui. Yeah, that's... That one's hard. I have to take out Ursula. I mean, that's definitely bait, right? <laughs> it's not very likely that that's a misplay. Because they know I have... Smash. I have to ink my good stuff and I don't like it. Yep, slows me down, but I am not going to let Ursula get a double song. That's, uh, that's bad for business. Oh, it would have been a discard, too. Alright, we're going to ink you. Alright, you can safely quest now. There's going to be no crackback from attacks that actually do any damage. Alright, they're pretty much set up to play the discard game. And there it is. Nothing to take. Oh, it's a non-character card. Actually, they could take a, lo uh, a location. Man, these uh, song slash non-character card things. Little tricky. Alright, well both their characters are dead. That's great. 
That would be hard to recover from. Hmm. Captain Hook doesn't die. You can't play both characters anyway. Let's put Captain Hook on there. Let's prevent the damage. I'll get a John Silva down. And let's take out these nonsensical characters. And you know what? We're going to ink a Mr. Smee. We're going to ink a Mr. Smee because they're playing discard. And if there's anything in our hand, like, they'll go for it. Plus, we could put John Silver on the location. Go grab a card that makes me discard. <laughs> Great ink. Another pirate. All hanging out at this place of exile. I love it. Alright, I got a board of pirates which resist at playing against a an opponent who plays discard. Yes! That's exactly what I was hoping to get. Smash! Off the top! It's like, I've been drawing a lot of characters. It's about time I draw, I draw some removal. Alright, aggro deck. Aggro discard. It's probably just discard. There hasn't been a lot of, like, questing for two or higher type of cards. Alright, do I just win here? I haven't been keeping track. Pretty stinking close. And if not, I got a Capitan Hook who I should have put at the location, but I clicked past turn too quickly. I got a Capitan Hook who's <laughs> prepared to just quest for the for the win. Well, you're not gonna find a character who's gonna save you here. Well, there goes the resist. Ursula doesn't do it. And let's go John Silva. For a perfect win. Mmm. <laughs> okay. It's the morning of uh, repeat matches, isn't it? Going first. Huge. That is a lot of John Silvers. I'll tell you what, I don't need a lot of John Silvers. My hold on the Rise of the Titans, though, it does take out, uh... It takes out... The Flute. That's it. The Flute. Yes, Captain Hook to start things off. That's what I want. Capitan Hook. Alright, what are we thinking? What are we thinking this morning? What kind of deck are you going to be? Are you going to be just the traditional steel song? There's a bodyguard. That's interesting. So you're going to be the bodyguard variant, aren't you? I think so. Oh, I'd love to get you down, but that Cinderella is no joke. We'll stick to the game plan of just hard casting Robin Hood late. That has to go. So very likely the bodyguard variant. Just based on the Simba. Blarg! How do I deal with you? Give me some damage off the top. Oh, it's damage off the top, but I can't play it. Alright, let's give them a target they care about. It's something that's not doing me a lot of use for lack of locations. Alright, I gave you a juicy target. What do you think? Is it juicy enough? No, it's juicy enough. Do you got another piece of removal? Ink 
Making a stitch. Hmm, they don't have it, do they? Oh, and the resist is huge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So the re okay, with resist, I can go... I can put both characters on it. Even though I don't technically need to put both, but John Silver getting that resist too? That lets him take out Simba without dying or taking any damage. Cinderella's gone. And just like that, I have control of the board. All right, we both have five pieces, but I have development. Kita Bodyguard. It's definitely the Bodyguard variant. I don't know where this Bodyguard variant came from, but it's not that great, is it? All right, I think we just wipe out the Donald and we don't have to worry about it. Quest, quest. I don't even need to ink, technically. My cap is five, minus the be prepared. I don't know, maybe be prepared doesn't need to be in here. Like, I keep wanting to hit the five and then, like, kind of stop. Double piglets could be a problem. But they're only a problem once. Alright, we'll ink the Mr. Smee to get the beast down. Totally worth it. Yeah, like I said, the piglets are only a problem once. And then they're not a problem. Alright, forcing my opponent to try to shift gears here, because now they gotta do some damage to beast if they want to prevent me from getting ahead. A lot of juicy targets to look at. Yep, resist two on the John Silver thanks to the location, so the piglets aren't doing any damage there. Zeus is enough. Will they take out Beast? No, they're gonna go to trade pieces. You know what? I think I'm okay with this. Oh, and there's that stinky be prepared I didn't want. Okay. We'll leave the beast up until they do something about it. And it's not like they can't do something about it. There it is. That's beast gone. Alright, I think I'm just questing here. Couple uninkables in the hand, that's uh unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. Do I ink cards so be prepared has the chance to do anything? I don't think so. Next turn, I move both characters to RLS Legacy. I could spend the turn just attacking it. And then next turn, they wipe it out. So we'll see if we spend any time moving characters there. Oh, and the concession! Wow, was not expecting that. <laughs> 